Hello and welcome. Hope you guys and girls are well and enjoying your day. What are you up to? Whatever you're up to, I should say. Um, you join me here and I've joined the scrapyard. And this guy's to show me how it's done. Car goes up, car goes in, car goes up there. The dude up there being very janky. Not the dude on the right, the dude on the very top there on the left. He's like fiddling about with an electrical box and it looks really dodge. And that's where the cars go in. I won't go up there because I've already been up there once. He's just nah, doing much, not much at all, just standing there looking busy. Um, and then they, I think they go across here and then they get shredded up and end up as a pile of rubbish, I think. No, I'm only joking. We are it's right they end up with rubbish down here. But we are playing American Truck Simulator. Hope you guys and girls are well and enjoy your day. And hopefully now, touch wood. My sound problems are behind me. Thankfully, hopefully, after doing a few test videos, it should be fine now. Right, we're in the Volvo, we haven't been in the Volvo for a while, nothing new, this is a new truck, but nothing new about this truck, well that is a new truck, it's been on the game for a while. What is new is, it's not a dead cat, it's a live cat, and it moves around. And you might be thinking, ah, where did you get that from? Of course, I'll leave links for this down in the description down below. It is a Steam mod, um, so it should be easily relatively updatable. Um, of course, before I go into the where you can find it, or how you set it up, you download the mod at your own risk. Um, if you do decide to download it, you download it at your own risk. Um, it's a good idea, good practice, can put it on a dummy account any mod you download on a dummy account first before playing it on your main actual account that way if it breaks your game you won't break you it won't break your profile um, anyway I say that in, in every mod you download it at your own risk anyway once you have decided to download it and have a go at it for yourself let me go to truck managers. Uh, I think you can do this from here. Okay. Right. It works on pretty much all the trucks. It also is available on Euro Truck Simulator. It doesn't work with the new MAN TGX, so bear that in mind. But you might try and update it so it will work in the later aspect. But once you have the truck you want it to go in, or your truck, you should be able to find it here on one of the well, many dots you've got. It's a bit selective where you can put it. Obviously, it's not going to work everywhere on a dash, so just got to bear that in mind but you do that and it, it does glitch on some track on of some of the um, dashboards I have noticed but you got several different cats there so you've got loads of different options it's all the same cats just different options of cats and where they put them you can put them also here Like that. I don't think you can put them on the floor. You can put the litter tray on the floor because they do have extra little toys as well, like the litter tray. And if I go up here, you can hang up that or hang up that. Uh, I don't think that's an internal bit. No, it isn't. Right. Uh, good. Oh, they've changed. I knew there was. Oh, look at that. They've changed. The, um, you've got more options on seat covers now. That's pretty cool. 
didn't know that until now. Um, can you put a cat here? You can put enough. Another litter box there if you want. What other extra toys there might be there? Uh, I won't know. How about on the bed? Yeah. It's different on each truck. You can put them in different places on each truck. Uh, how about over here on this one? No, you can put your toy here, but you can't put any more cats here. But you can go really mad and have lots and lots of cats if you, <laughs> if you want lots and lots of cats. You can have all your friends' cats. Um, in with you along the ride but I thought I'd show you that and that's probably that's the reason why I didn't have sim dash up now I can bring sim dash up like that right cool oh I've got to reset sim dash hang on because I popped out of game and in game and pop back out of game let me just quickly do that. Sorry, peeps. I've just got to get my tablet out to do, 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 do this, do that, do that, do that again. There we go. That reset sim dash. Right, yo, cool beans. Fire up. Okay, here we go. Reset. Now, for you guys and girls that don't watch Euro Truck Simulator, you're not going to know what I'm on about right now. But for you guys and girls that do watch Euro Truck Simulator, um, we discussed what uh, placing a little item here um, and everything else. For you guys and girls that didn't watch that, Go and watch it now, and then you'll know what you'll, you'll be on the same page. But anyway, I've got a tape measure, so hopefully you guys and girls can see. So if I do that to where my little box is, and then go down to roughly how tall we can be. So you're probably not going to be able to see that, but. From this perspective, it can go from a it can go a little bit taller, so anything higher than, hang on. Yeah, so anything two and a half, three inches. If you're working old school money. Or 80 centimeters in height. Anything higher than that, as you can see, it starts interfering with the light side of it. I will accept that it's something really good but I don't want it obviously covering these bits over here or these bits from the thing so the width again uh, it probably want to be a bit smaller than that ideally if it's a bit lower it can be a bit bigger so about yeah if it's small you can have it like that again for free but if it's quite uh, quite wide, it can't be anything bigger than maximum two inches because otherwise it's going to start covering up speedo and stuff. Um, if it is big uh, than that, it's not a biggie. I don't mind as long as you guys don't mind it being in the shot. Um, it'd be like pride of place for an episode or whatever. Anyway, I digress. Let's um, show you what the... Uh, run is it should be a relatively quick and short run this is the only one i could find the quick uh, the shortest run i could find and it's a it's a world of contracts job which is not great um but we've got this um excavator on board all right the engine's ticked over and should have warmed up enough six, uh, enough now so there a second let me do that so oh here we go There. Let me do it. Cool. So you got it both now in 
this and that above it so you can see everything else the gear and everything else right anyway i digress oh dear there we go actually let's do a quick tug test make sure that this trailer holds cool beans let's go yes the whole sound situation has been a nightmare as i've been discussing i upgraded to my from my old Barringer to um a go xlr and then i up because i did that uh, i had problems with my old because i've got two pc set up now as you guys girls know some of you do some of you might not so, if i sound like a broken record um, it's only because I, I, I can only assume some some people only watch this and some people only watch certain other ones, so you're just going to have to forgive me. Um, but I got a new XLR um, and because I had to plug initially, the way you should use it, you should plug it indirectly into, your, um, into the line in and line out of your streaming PC. That didn't work because my PC, I think the, I think the motherboard sound card is busted on it. Oh, it's not very good. Either either way, it's just rubbish. It's just anything that goes through it. It's always distorted. So I had to resort to using an old USB and I thought it worked because when I listened for it through a lower setting or lower volume on my headset, I could hear it. It was only once I listened to it a higher volume, I realised it was distorted. we get a picture in, in a minute as well. That's good, eh, this engine? The window... The window wasn't open, I don't think. Let's open that one, let, some, let the engine sound a bit for you, boys and girls. The cat's the say that he does full animation, you can't see him, but he does like roll over and stuff. There you go. He can rub his belly. And he goes to sleep. Quite cute quite good this, but on that you can just about see it I don't want to miss the traffic lights but he does slightly glitch into that part of the dashboard but it's stuff you can overlook for that level of sort of detail that it actually moves rather than just a fixed solid uh, just a cat that's stationary Seems a bit gimmicky for some people who sit there and go, well, you're just going to forget he's there eventually, aren't you? Well, yeah. But every time you look over to the right there, you can remember he's there again. Or she. Go straight up. I can, I can have, I think I've seen someone on YouTube that actually has a cat in their cab. Oh. Why's the brake not holding? Try that again. That's better. Come on, dude. That was traffic lights, isn't it? Green go. It means go. Go. Yeah, like I've been saying, it was it was a nightmare. And then, because again, I set up my new uh, capture card in my second PC, which is my old PC, 
I had problems with that. Um, all that good stuff. But if you guys and girls have already watched Euro, Euro Truck, you've already know this. It's just for those people that, that don't. There we go. Maybe I should have put my keyboard down before I should continue. Never mind. Stay good. Right, cool beans. Off we go. Let's get some. Get the mic foot on the floor. Done enough dilly dally. You'll know this is done real time, so I can take my time with this if I really want to do. Whoa. He's got another, like, smaller, looks like a smaller excavator in the front. Bulldozer. It's a bully bulldozer. Maybe he's going to the same place I am. Maybe he's taking both both the same place. Now, you know, look at that, look at that view. Hopefully, like I said, it's all over with now. All the nightmare of sound. Uh, frame lag and stuff like that. I'm still probably going to get that, but it shouldn't be as bad now. So now that's all sorted and everything else is all sorted. Now I can start cracking on and start playing the games that I want to play again, which is, um, like I said in Euro Truck, I want to, I want to, um, play, uh, The Last of Us, uh, Contraband, please. Uh, definitely want to play a bit more of, uh, Car for Sale Simulator. I do like that. As buggy as it is, I do like that. I just hope they sort out that problem, the controller issue, um, and other stuff as well. World's most now. The, the, I spent a bit too much money reference to the whole thing, though, and I really need to start taking it easy on what to do next. The next major purchase. So I've replaced the XLR cable as well. Now. Is it Ernie Ball? XR cable? Um, I thought five feet would be enough, but it, it's quite short. Um, but it's long enough for what I want it to do. Um, it, I've also got a new boom arm as well. Um, so that's the thing with the new mic. So the new mic needed a new boom arm. I noticed because the the Shaw is quite a heavy mic, so it it was really leaning a lot of weight on. Ooh, I'm going too quick. Maybe I should turn the cruise control on. Maybe that would be an idea. Because this guy, guy is going pretty slow anyway, and I should, by rights, keep a relatively good distance from him. We suggest lower gear. There we go. Now, if I put cruise control on, go a bit quicker. There we go. I'm set around about 48 at the moment. 
Yes, I reckon he's going quite sort of a bit slower than 48. I could be, yeah. Uh, could be wrong. Yeah, it's slowly catching up. And now it should just keep pace with him. And I don't have to keep him pushing, um, have him to push and pull the pedal. I don't know if I should put the Jake on. That might be an idea. Struggling to pull it up this hill. Yeah, definitely struggling. Come on, dude. You just robbed all my speed. Didn't he, cat? Kind of reminds me of uh, our cat. A cat, actually. God, this guy's going well slow. I might have to overtake him. He's going uber slow. We can go quicker than this, kid. mate. You must be on an underpowered truck. I can't overtake here though because it's double yellow, so we've got to wait for a broken line. I can only assume that's how it works in the, in the same as over in the states as over here. You can't overtake on a double yellow. I can get out and walk quicker than this, mate. Come on. Right, no, it's still double yellow. Is he stuck to find something else? Is that what the problem is? Or is he just underpowered, so he's having to... He was going quicker than this earlier, so... I don't think he's riding the brakes, is he? I am. Well... No, he's just going really slow. You can go quicker than that, mate. I'm sure you can. Yeah, I think he's doing this to wind me up. Sorry, Pete, just to say this is this is annoying me as much as it's annoying you. Yeah, also reference my old setup. I yes, let's gun it. I um I bet this is where it speeds up now. You watch. Go, go, go. Yeah, I also got... Uh, I might have mentioned this in the last episode as well of um, Euro American truck... No, American truck, for Euro truck simulator. Um, I uh, purchased a, uh, another graphics card for the old system. Uh, it was the GTX 1660. And it does actually help with the rendering times. It's not... It's not earths between the old graphics card and new graphics card is not like night and day but it does definitely increase the times it knocks off another uh, at least another 20 25 minutes off these off of the uh, rendering time so which is good oh yeah we're going too quick again Right, there we go. Second is control to 60. Take my feet off of the accelerator and then let it do what it needs to do. Good for diesel. I don't know whether to brake a bit 
harder than that though. I think I should. Although this is quite a low thing, I just get a weird feeling that if I go around that corner quickly, it would tip over. We've got Jake on, so it's maintaining some, it's not running away completely. But I'll cruise the Jake a bit more. I can't exit left because that dude was in the way. Now I get done for speeding, great. Seems legit. Even with my brake break on, that wasn't slowing down quick enough. There we go. Let's turn that off. Get it around about 40. Put that on. Forty five along here, so we can increase the speed again. Go about forty seven. Really? Which side of the road is it on? I can't see. It's there. Oh, okay. I hope this is the right way into there. Never that was. The thing is, that because I couldn't see where that was on the, on the screen. Just looked at the other. off so yeah that's helped with the um, with the rendering times but after all the problems I was having with um, the sound uh, it not capturing the way I wanted it to capture and every now and again it throws up an extra problem anyway I was like I've really, really made this hard on myself, haven't I? I haven't made this easy on myself, I've made this hard on myself. This is too much work and I'm committed now. I've got to make this work because I've spent all this money now. We're almost over half an hour. How much further have we got? 50 miles left as long as we don't I know I should have stopped that dude but content and all that good stuff as long as we don't get any more hell high hold ups we should be good but I can already see that's going to be a big no no there's a big truck in front of me it looks like a Volvo truck can see Look like a either a London Underground. <laughs> Are you shifting? That's all right. I'll leave it around fifty-five. I know it's sixty-five here, but this is one of those sort of roads that it kind of capture off guard quite quickly. Yeah, I felt, you know, I was like, I was in two minds. I was like, should I just sell all this on eBay and just give up? Give up YouTube, give up. Uh, I just said, I think someone doesn't want me to do this. Someone keeps on putting hurdles in my way. And I thought, well, no, I've worked this hard. 
to get this far. I can't just give up on it now. I've got to try and try and at least get somewhere with it, even if it means pulling all my hair out or and or and or smacking my head against the brick wall for so long that I just knock myself out. Cool. That should have been made a um, thingy point, view point or whatever. Um, Quite a while, didn't we? Well, I did. Turn cool, coming in quick. Go on, off you go. You can let me in. Thank you, Mr. G. come this far now I've got to get this thing to work so it was it was a nightmare oh, mine speed limit yes you keep telling me to mind that speed limit lead foot I know oh, wrong button there we go it's gone back up to 65 now even though we're still in a residential area look there's still houses here they haven't gone away so why slow down only speed up as people are coming out thinking, oh yeah, they've slowed down now. I don't think I need an indicator, I just think I need to slow down and come around this corner. See, it slowed down and then sped up as soon as we get towards a, a, a blind, well, a 90 degree bend, it seems legit. Sharp. We are literally just there. You can't see it. I can see it. We got it just there. Get Sometimes I think I'm like tunnel vision and it's just but we must get there. Get there no matter what. trailer and I don't want it cutting in too far and go out again Get ready. Turn left. oh so it's gone from one site to another so it's it's not gone off higher been inspected Turn left. It, we can go across here I guess we can they better not yeah there's a road there I'm gonna follow that because that looks a bit more well worn than that there. I'm guessing we can go down here. I'm hoping we can go down here. Recompute. No, you don't need to recompute. We are here. I've just come a long way, weird way about it. 
So there's another trailer there. That's just been abandoned there, surely. There it is. Yeah, that's a straight in jobby. That has got to, I've got to angle it and da uh, angle the dangle just right and make sure I don't hit anything big like a pothole or that dude over in the shed there. He's all right. He's where he's fine where he is. There we go. That should straighten up there. If not, I'll have to pull forward, go forward a bit and pull back. Nope, that's bang on, but slightly, let's just put my head through the window again. Slightly off for that to do. For government work. Ching, decoupling, done. Right, cool beans. Show results now, done. Right, I'll say goodbye to you guys and girls. I know it went on for a bit longer than normal. I apologise about that, but I hope you guys and girls enjoyed it, and thank you very much for uh, sticking to the end. Um, if you did enjoy it, again, feel free to like. If you didn't enjoy it for any reason, even a reason at all, please feel free to dislike. If you uh, please leave comments down below, either way, so then I'm aware and I can try to improve in future. If you know anyone else that may also enjoy watching this, guys and girls, please feel free to share. It helps me out a lot. And I don't mind you sharing. And if you're new to my channel and want to see future episodes of this or anything else that I'm working on, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. It's only where as soon as I upload a new video. I'll see you in the next one. TTFN. <laughs>